Good day, YouTube. Uh, I just wanted to take some time here to tell you about my favorite tomato. This right here is the Everglades tomato. Um, it's native to Peru and Ecuador. It was actually brought to Florida uh, with the Spanish settlers. It does grow throughout the Everglades, hence its name, the Everglades tomato. And it actually grows year-round in warmer temperatures, so if you don't get frost in your area, this is actually uh, considered a perennial. Uh, the fruit on this is it's very small, so this is perfect idea for uh, salads. So if you like to eat salads, this is definitely uh, a tomato for you. Uh, it is very disease resistant. Uh, it is susceptible, uh, susceptible to the tomato hornworm. However, uh, that's pretty much uh, the only problem you're going to have. As long as you keep uh, the leaves off the base of the plant, uh, you shouldn't have a lot of uh, problems with bacteria or leaf spot. I use a simple uh, balance fertilizer on this with uh, some extra uh, crushed eggshells uh, along with uh, a calcium, um, liquid calcium that I make at home here just uh, for an extra boost. Um, like I said earlier, it is prolific, uh, so you will get a lot of uh, volunteers show up because it does produce a lot of fruit on it. Um, I typically don't grow these from seeds. I grow them from the sucker. And right here you can see a sucker, um, which is basically a clone of the plant. Uh, you got the main stem here, and on, here's a branch, and right there is a sucker. So you could just, I pluck that off and I put it in uh, some water to, to root out. So if you guys can, uh, definitely uh, get some, uh, some seeds uh, uh, online or a local retailer. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.